Conference in Doha are now working towards a new plan to limit CO2 emissions. Scientists say that is what's causing more extreme weather and rising water levels. Low-lying small island states will be some of the worst hit countries. Many of them survive on subsistence farming and extreme weather is likely to harm the food supply. Fresh water supplies will be affected as well. Scientists have predicted that by the middle of this century, water supplies on many small islands won't meet demand. And of course, rising sea levels, I'm not sure it's an of course, uh, do threaten the very existence of the islands. Some of them are just a few metres above sea level. In fact, the Pacific island of Kiribati has made emergency plans for a mass evacuation if sea levels continue to rise as projected. OK, Ronald Jumeau is the Seychelles ambassador for climate change and a representative of the Alliance of Small Island States joining us now from that climate change conference. Ambassador, I don't want to talk about the bigger picture. I want to talk about the Seychelles, your, your home islands. How much has changed there? How much of a noticeable difference has there been since, since records began? Well, definitely there's a change. I, I'm based in New York, and each time I fly home, I see something different at home. I can see the beaches being eroded away. I can see the corals dying. I can see the drought, the, the dam getting lower and lower because of the drought. And you must understand that Seychelles is number one industry. Our main uh, our foreign exchange is tourism, marine-based tourism. That means if the corals go, if the beaches go, so does our tourism. If the fish go, our fishing industry, which is our, our second most important industry, that goes too. But it's not just about countries like Seychelles. I think many people in Qatar know that Seychelles is only a five-hour flight away. We're almost in the same time zone. And this is my first visit to Qatar. And I remember when I was looking at the coastline, I realized that Qatar is in the same situation as Seychelles. That means should the waters, the sea levels rise to cover the beaches of Seychelles, you will be getting your feet wet here in Qatar too. So uh, in, in, your, in the opinion of countries like Seychelles and the Alliance of Small Island States, Qatar should be sharing the same concern and the same sense of urgency as Seychelles. Now, you were given some money by the United Nations, um, your group of islands, to, to, to try and solve the problem or to find out what was actually causing it and threatening the wildlife there. That was earlier this year. How are you using that? Well, we're, we're using uh, money from not just United Nations, from other partners to try and adapt to climate change. Some of it is what we call ecosystem-based adaptation. For example, planting more mangroves on, along the coast to try and stabilize the coast and soften the impacts of, of the much stronger waves that are coming in over the reefs. And there are other ways where we are adapting. But the point is no, no amount of adaptation can uh, take the place of cutting emissions. What we want first is that people cut em emissions. The more emissions you cut, the less the weather changes, the less the, the climate changes, the less we have to adapt and ask money for adaptation. And those waves you talk about coming in have, have been disturbing. The, the turtle eggs, uh, another thing that people go to the Seychelles to see, little turtles running into the sea and damaging possibly the, these giant tortoises you have there, creatures that um, you wouldn't necessarily associate with, with um, problems with sea levels on land are having difficulties. Exactly. There's two ways, for example, turtles are affected. First of all, turtles nest on the high water mark. So if your beach is swept away, either by sea currents or coastal erosion, obviously you're going to sweep away not only the nest, but the habitat that they, that they lay in. But something that many people may not know is that when turtles or even giant land tortoises lay, the temperature of the soil will affect how many males and females are born. So, that, so if the temperature is such that you have too many females, then you're going to have a problem uh, uh, later on down the line, and even if you have too many males. So it's, there are things that are happening to nature, to wildlife, that many people don't understand, that you don't actually see, but uh, which is crucial to, to the balance of nature in our, in, in our world. Ambassador, a, a lot of play has been made at this conference about the fact that uh, countries such as your own and other small island nations don't believe that the, the big Western powers and, and coming powers such as China are doing their bit to help and that you're getting uh, landed with part of the bill. When, when you leave this conference, do you think you and the other small countries will feel that you've got something out of it or, or perhaps you've been cheated? We're, we're, not, we're not feeling exactly uh, very positive at the moment now, but we are 
We are negotiating behind closed doors furiously. We are amongst the hardest negotiation, negotiators you can meet in, in the climate change process because we've got everything to lose. Um, everything, you know, or another way of putting it, we've got nothing else to live but our, lose but our homes. So at the moment, we are trying to compromise. Um, the final outcome of any of these COPs is, is a compromise. We are negotiating with our partners and saying, look, we are ready to budge on some of our positions if you are certainly ready to budge on, 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 on yours. Our number one, our, we have a very simple position, the, the islands, the, the small islands of the world. It's ambition. By ambition means cutting your emissions as much as you can, putting as much money on the table as possible to help us mitigate, to help us adapt to climate change, and also for loss and damage to recover from uh, both uh, immediate storm events like hurricanes and cyclones and what we call uh, long-term slow onset events like sea level rise and, and uh, ocean acidification. Ambassador, thanks. Uh, thanks very much for joining us from those climate change talks Thank you very in much. Qatar. Thank you. More than 200 people have been detained in Jordan after taking part in anti-austerity protests.